So what I was wanting to do is create an heirloom piece to showcase um, all the photos of our daughter's wedding. The spine is four and a half by ten and a half. And this pink panel here is um, five by seven and use the um, botanical rose flowers and I use those throughout the whole book for the most part. And uh, the decorative blossom corner die. So on the first page you see the title. And this photo measures four inches by five and three fourths to give you an idea of how to cut and what and then just add a border and a decorative border of your choice there. And this, the green panel, measures four and three fourths by seven and a half, and which does not include the hinge, so you need to add for the hinge as well. And uh, this flips out this way. This photo measures three and five eighths by four inches. And so these photos flip up. These are all four by six photos. You can see she was getting dressed here. And uh, let's go back down the next page. And also these colored panels that are on top of the eight by ten are eight measure eight by ten, the ones that are on top of the black panels. This flips out. These are mostly four by six photos. This is the first look here. She's coming this down the sidewalks and he's waiting to see her. Oh, such an exciting time. Gosh. This panel is four and three eighths inch wide, and as I open it, you can see it's pretty long and it measures thirteen and a half inches. So here she is. They're starting to walk down the aisle. They're going down, which is an outdoor wedding, as you can see. <coughs> and so that folds like this. Here's the groom standing down at the end of the aisle. This opens up. And this front panel measures five inches by eight and eight and one eighth inch. And that is measuring the black panel. And then you add the trim on with that. Yeah. Okay, and this folds out. And these uh, the black panel here measures four and one eighth by five inches. So you just multiply that as many times as you want to fold it out. I have additional pages. <coughs> and it's quite extensive here. And I love how this tells a story. Um, all on one page, you can put so many photos together all on one page with this type of uh, album. So and again, this just folds up like this. This strip is four and a quarter inches, and I uh, and the the length of it is eleven and a half inches. And the photos, and it measures goes down like that. And this one is shorter, so you can adjust these any way that you would like just according to the size of your photos or the size of whatever your decorative panels are that you'd like to use in that. And here is a um, panel that I decorated with the uh, uh, some of our card front panels. And the black panel on here measures five and a quarter by seven one eighth. And this black panel, the width of it measures six and five eighths inch wide and eight and three fourth inches long and that does include the trim and it does not in include the fold. I love this um, die from the Timeless Amour, it's number 728 that used on there for uh, the tab. Fold that up, Here's some, place another tab, here's some more mats. Just some inner interesting little things in the pocket there. Here's a big fold out that I made. Um, the um, black panel, the width of this measure six and three eighths inches wide 
and the other side. And here we have a pull out uh, mat like this. They're signing their uh, marriage license. Oh, there. Oh, there. Let me see here. This folds out. Okay, and this one measures, uh, the black panel measures 6 and 1 8 by 7 and 7 8. And I uh, did some stamping on there in that panel. And it folds out like this. And I added some tags and uh, just some random sizes of tags and put the names of the uh, uh, bridesmaid and the groomsmen on there. There's Emma Lou. Here's another little cute little there. Oh, are they cute? Oh my gosh, so cute. And let's put that in the pocket. And this folds back down like that. And this folds down. And I wrap this around and then I tied that up there. There's another uh, five by seven panel here with the uh, flowers on them. And on this side, it measures uh, four by six. And it opens here as well and it has um, the Timeless Amour a tab on here. And here this folds out. So folded out, this measures six by 13 and a half inches with the hinge down here. So that's six inches by 13 and a half. I'll turn this around. And here's um, nice pockets. I just discovered that this decorative blossom corner is really amazing to create pockets to put your uh, extra photos in and also create this gate hinge for your for more uh, to create your opening for more photos and this color panel strip is six and three fourth inches wide by 13 and a half inches long lots of space for photos and folds out in the bottom, same length. And this page is not completely done as well. And, but it gives you a lot of space for storage. And the next page. This main black panel here, it flips up like this. This measures seven and one eighth by nine inches. And then this uh, folded back, this was 2 and 1 fourth by 7 1 eighth inches wide. And it has uh, this waterfall, and which it, this is 7 1 eighth inch wide, and it measures 5 and 1 eighth inch up to these on the black panel. So you can just flip these up and check out the photos and pockets. Oh, I love this photo the groom's mom. Here we have another fold out and it is measured six inches wide and 13 inches long with with this trim. So folds in there, flip it over, another pocket and this is measured six by six without the fold. And here we have a little pocket and okay, here's um, a pull out little tag here. Open this up and let's see what's inside here. This is another fold out. And this green panel or the color panel here measures, uh, it's 20 inches long and measures 6 and 7 8 inches wide. So it's, that's from here down to the bottom. And then it also folds out so it gives you awesome places for lots of photos love that photo of the kid the three kids we had three kids and those three are doing what they do best they love each other and over here we have one more 
This panel is 21 and a half inches long and it is 5 inches wide. And here is some of this is done, completed, and this folds open. I love those little hidden things like that. And this um, Chateau Gate tie die is an amazing one to create for little photos like that. Okay, and there's a little. All right. Okay, here we have another page. Some hidden pockets here, or tags, I mean, the tags down here. The black panel with the trim measures five and a half inches wide by six and three fourths inches long. This folds out. And the length of this uh, green panel here is uh, 23 inches. It's six and a half inches wide, but it's 23 inches long. And again, just adjust these sizes, whatever you need for your own photos, your own needs. If it's a smaller um, album, just adjust them down and size them down to smaller sizes. And on this page, I created it to fit with our uh, six by six panels in our uh, paper pads. This folds out to the right and then it has a waterfall. This page is not completed yet either, but gives you an idea. A lot of the guest pictures here. And then this one is a, uh, this six inches wide, but it's seven inches long. And then this one is seven and seven eighth inches long. And then it's a strip across here and so again, this one is uh, seven and seven eighth inches long here. And let me see, this uh, black panel here measures uh, five and three three sixteenths by six and three fourth inches wide, and then I rounded the corners. And the total length of this green panel from this corner here is 21 inches and that includes a uh, room to put the hinge underneath the, this panel right here and it measures five and one-fourth inches wide. So again this is not completed yet but it gives you an idea where it's going. And we need a magnet behind there yet. The last page here is as they're leaving it's six and five eighth inches wide, and this measures seventeen and seven and eighth inches long from this cream panel. Then just folded it up, and then I lift it up, and in the back here, open this up, and uh, create this hinge out to the left. And this one measures four and a half by five and one fourth, but then add for the hinge, which would be another inch for the hinge back here. Then a couple tags in here and that is the end and they lived happily ever after. Mm -hmm.